Welcome back, everyone. Over the last couple of months, I've pointed out the obvious. Recently, the West has witnessed a surge of support for Islamic terrorism, ranging from the streets of the UK to what were formerly regarded by many as the finest universities in the US. However, I would be negligent if I didn't also discuss what could be more, shall we say, openness among some Muslim leaders here in the West. It seems that they too may have been emboldened or at least re-energized, reinvigorated by watching their Muslim brothers violate and murder Jews on October 7th. As I was considering doing a video on this topic, this article was published on WNG.org called Jihadist Preachers in Our Backyard. The article describes recent calls for violence, Islam style, in North America. The link is in the description box, and when you check it out, you'll see that it points us to several Muslim leaders in the U.S. and Canada who serve as shining examples of all of the best things that Islam has to offer. I was able to track down some of these experts, so let's start by seeing what these Muslim extremists have to say right from their own mouths. And we'll begin by correcting my error. I should not have just said the word extremist. So here is, this is a tough name for me, but I think it's pronounced donkey. So let's first start with some background from Sheikh Donkey in a video posted about a year ago. Anything that Allah has legislated in the Quran, whether it be commands or whether it be prohibitions, and anything which has reached us through authentic narrations from the Prophet Sallallahu of legislation, whether it be prohibitions or it be commands, know that that is the middle path. Know that that is what is moderate, no matter what the people have to say. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala in the Quran commands that jihad be established. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam commands that jihad be established. As we know from the Quran and the authentic sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when the conditions are met, that is moderate. That is the middle path. There you have it, the topic of today's video, Moderate Islam. Now here's some more from Sheikh Donkey. This is a recent sermon talking about the virtues of martyrdom. You'll never guess what comes next. Or maybe you will. And our messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallama said, the martyr, the shaheed, has seven blessings from Allah. He will be married to 72 of al hur al -Ain, the 72 virgins that they laugh about and they mock us about. Don't do it. Don't mock the virgins thing. I see you in the comment section typing your little comment of mockery waging jihad with your keyboard. Don't mock the fact that Allah sounds like a sex-crazed maniac talking about perpetual amorous virgins describing their physical characteristics in unnecessary detail. And don't mock the history of Muslim scholarship talking about the four colors of skin the women in paradise have, or maybe it's their transparentness that's so attractive, or the names they have tattooed on each breast. Also, on the list of things you shouldn't mock are the hadith that talk about the members of Muslim men never becoming Flaccid. With that out of the way, let's move on from not mocking and get to what you would also never guess comes next from Imam Donkey. You see, in Islam here in the West, you get to play the victim of hate and phobia while also being among the worst purveyors of hate in the English-speaking world. Allahumma ansur ikhwanana al-mujahideen fi Gaza. Allahumma ansur ikhwanana al-mujahideen fi Gaza. Allahumma alayka bil yahud al-ghasibin. Allahumma alayka bil yahud al-mu'tadeen. Allahumma arina fihim yawman aswada. And that's the voice of moderate Islam right from Donkey Sheikh in Victoria, Canada. Nothing extreme to see here, just moderacy. Let's move on to another recent sermon, this time from Madison, Wisconsin. I'm struggling with these names today, but it seems like we have another Imam Donkey. Funny how so many Muslims have the same name. Here you go, a supersized helping of hate, right from Satan's lips to his. We neglected the principle of support, which is al-jihadu fi sabilillah. The only way that can stop is to face the enemy the way they face us. They face us with aggression. We should retaliate with aggression. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, 
وقاتلوا في سبيل الله الذين يقاتلونكم ولا تعتدوا fight in a path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala those who fight against you and they will fight they will defend the deen they will defend their lands not with their tongues but with their blood and each one of us should be a soldier today so I you know jihad they will try everything but it's only jihad only jihad that can bring victory not contracts not agreements not allyism not all these things only thing wallahi that can bring izza to this ummah is al jihad alladhi taraddada kalamuhu fi kitabillah wa fi ahadith muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam the only thing that can bring izza honor and glory to this nation is jihad hani an li ikhwanina fi gaza abtal wallahi they are warriors abtal they are warriors they are men just like the sahaba la yakhafuna al-maut wa la yahabuna ya yahud al-dhul al-mujrim al-zalim al-mufsid kuffu kullukum hatman sayuqtal the yahud the aggressor the evil you describe them what they do wallahi alladhi la ilaha illahu all of them will be killed by muslims they all will be executed by muslims kulluhum sayuqtalun lanahu wa'dun ilahiyyun wa la budda an yaqa this is a promise from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it's going to happen kulluhum sayuqtalun kulluhum sayuqtalun wa yawma idhin what a terrible ideology. I'm done cutting these donkey videos in for today, but in the description box, I'll link another example of this one, more moderate Islam. This donkey is from Dearborn, Michigan, and you can see what he has to say if you want to. But it is to Dearborn that we now turn from a couple weeks ago in the Wall Street Journal. I'll read and summarize a few selections. Thousands march in support of terrorists. Protesters, many covering their faces because they're cowards, shout intifada, intifada from the river to the sea and the rest of their stupid slogan. Local imams give fiery anti-Semitic sermons. This isn't the Middle East. It's the Detroit suburb of Dearborn, Michigan. Almost immediately after October 7, people were celebrating the horrific events with pro-terrorist rallies and marches. Imam Donkey told the crowd that Israel's past actions have put fire in our hearts that will burn the state, Israel, until its demise. In May 2023, the same Donkey had urged his congregation to say amen in agreement with his prayer that Allah eradicate from existence the sick, disgusting Zionist regime. On October 14th, another Donkey called October 7th one of the days of God and a miracle come true describe the attackers as honorable, they're lions, defending the entire nation of Muhammad the Messenger. The Islamic Center of America holds memorials for terrorists killed in action, and other Islamic institutions venerate the martyrs, while still more Dearborn donkeys express their warmest congratulations to the terrorist leader of Iran. Support for terrorism in southern Michigan has long been a concern for U.S. counterterrorism officials. I can't imagine why. Post appeared on one influential donkey's social media account celebrating October 7th, talking about the joy in their hearts. The same account posted a tweet imploring Allah to purify the land from the aggression of the apes, swines, and hypocrites. He also urged Muslims in the West to normalize the term jihad and use it frequently on social media and in mosques. So far down the rabbit hole of moderate Islam is Dearborn, Michigan, that arguably the most ardent pro-terror anti-Jew in Congress serves as its representative. That will be the one who couldn't find it within herself to vote along with 418 other representatives on a recent resolution condemning the sexual violence of Hamas. From the mosques of Michigan to the halls of Congress, Islamic moderates are everywhere. It's way past time to start learning about Islam and don't let the shackles of fashionable Western thought stop you from reaching obvious conclusions. The donkeys in these videos are getting their violence and hate right from the Islamic text. To quote from the article cited at the beginning of this video, our families and loved ones who reside in the West cannot afford cultural ignorance about jihad or its preachers. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.